Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. Lauren here and as you can see I'm back in the shop and in this video I'm going to be sharing, you, sharing with you all of the new fabrics that we've had arrive in the shop over May. We've got loads and loads of really nice ones, really summery things so I think you're going to really like them. The first ones that I want to show you are a selection of fabrics that we've had, they're Japanese fabrics so they're Koka and Nani Aero fabrics. Quite a few of them are on a double gauze base so I'll explain a bit more about that in a second but we've got another few another two or three that are on other base cloths so the first one that i've got is this one here which is called a rexel tensile so we think it's just a, a form of tensile so it's going to be like similar to rayon and viscose but it's just the way that the fiber is produced and manufactured is slightly different but it's got those kind of same properties so it's pretty drapey it's quite fluid it's quite sort of sturdy even though it's lightweight as in like it's not transparent or anything so it's it is quite a versatile fabric, going to be good for tops and dresses and skirts and everything. I think it's just like a little top or a blouse would be nice in this. And it's got that beautiful kind of classic nanny arrow design. It's quite large scale, loads of beautiful colours in it, a nice little bird as well. Um, so that is the first one that I've got for you. Then we've got a couple on 100% linen and it's it's more like a kind of medium weight linen um, it's not like really thick but it's not really thin either first one is this pink one and it has got this beautiful kind of metallic -y, goldy goldy um, border on the selvages so it's got it on both sides and then the main body of the fabric is pink but it's got quite a lot of different shades it's not a sort of one solid colour so I think this would be really nice if you actually cut, it, cut stuff out like on the on the grain that way round instead so then the border bit was at the bottom it looked really cool so a top or a skirt even would look nice in that and um, so that's one of the linens and then the other linen that we've got is in the more kind of bluey grey colour palette we've got sort of pinks and then blues and greys and um, this is another one of her classic designs it's the sort of reworking of the the colors in that so it's sort of like columns of lines but they kind of overlap a little bit you can see it's quite fluid but you know it's linen so it is weighty it's going to have those classic characteristics of linen really and um, so that's the other linen one and then as i said um at the start there's there's quite a few double gauze ones so remember double gauze is it's cotton but it's like made of two really, really fine, thin layers of fabric together. Um, so we've got this one in two different colorways, a green and a blue here. Again, this is another quite classic Nanny Aero sort of design. So it's like, it's quite kind of floral, but sort of abstract, lots of little dots of painted colors. Um, and it's really, really nice. I'll hold it up so you can see it. So it is, it is very summery, it's really lightweight, but this would be really good for just like a simple little top, like the Tilly and the Buttons Stevie, you know, something something quite simple like that, or the Greenline Willow Tank, or the Scout Tee, you know, just like a really plain sort of simple woven tee, because then it lets the fabric sort of shine through. Um, so yeah, we've got it in the pink, and then we've also got it in the blue colourway as well, and it's got like little sort of metallic -y kind of spots on it as well, which is really nice. The colours in this one are gorgeous, they're like so, it's like an ocean, beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's those two double gauzes. And then the other double gauze we've got is another Nanny Arrow one. Getting my wires all caught up here. Um, is this one, so it's a, a similar design to that Rexel Tensile one that I showed you. So it's quite abstract, sort of larger scale, got the little bird on it as well. Um, and then the sort of metallic accents they're always just so special these fabrics like a work of art on fabric they're really beautiful and um, so that's all the nanny Aero ones and then we've also got a couple of double gauzes from the coca range so these are japanese ones as well so it's the same sort of quality of cloth it's just the design and print of them slightly different so this is sort of like little blooms of flowers with little leaves on it so that's the pink one and then we've also got it in a navy as well which is really nice just a classic navy and then the last coca ones that we've got 
are these so this one comes in two different colorways it's more of a kind of medium weight cotton so again it's going to be good for tops you could use it for dresses and skirts and um, but it does hold its structure a little bit more so the garments that you make from it will just have yeah they'll just sort of have more body and weight to them so it depends on the sort of style that you're going for um, and whether you want that or not if I separate it out just so it's on one um, layer then you'll kind of see sort of what kind of weight it has so it's just like a kind of plain background but then it's got these colored threads kind of woven into it which are kind of got lots of different tones in them so it's quite quite a warm palette like there's little bits of brown little bits of pink and a kind of tanny color so it just makes it really nice and textured it's really lovely so yeah it's got it in that sort of lighter blue and then also in a sort of darker navy classic blue as well which is really really nice so sticking with that very kind of summery vibe I've got two nice bright white ones to show you so these are this one's an embroidered cotton so it's got all these sort of little eyelets in it it's really pretty and the border of that fabric is kind of scalloped as well so that's nice to sort of incorporate into your garments I think if you were using this to make a top or you could use it to make a dress as well then I would suggest having just some plain white cotton lawn behind it because it is like a little bit see-through because it's got all these little embroidered holes in it but it's really really pretty lovely and fresh for summer and then the other one that I've got is another quite quite plain white fabric but when you look really closely it's got this gorgeous sort of textured dot in it so it's like the weave of the fabric just changes to form these dots and yeah the weave of the fabric is almost just like it's spaced out a little bit more but it's really pretty I think it would look lovely just as like a, a, a really simple little summer top again it's it's like slightly sheer so depending on how you felt you might want to line that with a, just a plain lightweight cotton lawn as well but it's another just nice nice sort of fresh summery one I wish I could wear white but with a three-year-old in tow most of the time white is just unrealistic for me but one day one day and um, so then now I'm going to move on to a selection of really lovely sort of lightweight viscose fabrics but the first one is a viscose but it's also got linen in it as well so we've had this base cloth fabric and quite a few other prints so if you've watched my videos before you keep you know you've shopped with us before you might recognize it so it's that viscose linen base so it's got quite a kind of natural texture to it there's like little sort of um, I guess kind of like little slubs of a sort of deeper colour in the background um, but because it's got because it's linen and viscose it's got a beautiful drape it's lovely and lightweight and then this is just a fun lobster print so this is again a really lovely versatile fabric good for tops and blouses and shirts and skirts and dresses depending on the style of the dress like if it was a sort of straighter dress maybe you would want to line it just with a plain viscose fabric but if it was quite fuller in the skirt section of the dress you might be okay it's quite summery anyway and um, so yeah that's just a new design on that really popular a base cloth and then the other ones that I've got are all just 100% viscose so this one again we've had this before but in a darker colorway so this is just like a sort of lighter colorway for summer so it's you can it's really silky and soft it's got beautiful beautiful drape to it and it's got lots of little sort of multicolored flecks in it and yeah just a really lovely summery summery fabric and then the, I've got a few that are quite sort of florally so this one here has got a black background and then lovely sort of orangey and pinky blooms in it I'll open that out and show you the swish of that one too it's really gorgeous these are going to be these would make lovely dress like a nice wrap dress or a lovely sort of long swooshy skirt that kind of thing good for tops as well just viscose is just really versatile for loads of things it's got such lovely drape and movement in it for garments and um, so that's one of the florally ones and then the other florally one is a bit brighter and um, it is here that's this one here so yeah the color tones in this one are just much kind of brighter and richer but again it's got lovely draping movement this one's maybe slightly more sheer than the last one but again I think if it was like a fuller style of garment then you wouldn't need to line it if it was a top then you wouldn't need to either but yeah another really beautiful design and then the other ones I've got are I guess a bit more contemporary like not on the 
floral end of the scale. Um, so this one here, again, we've had this one, but in another colorway. So we did have it in blue and it was so popular and we are getting more of the blue, but it's just getting reprinted at the moment. So hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll have it back. But this is a kind of lovely sort of limey green color. It's actually been quite a hard color to capture in a photograph because it's quite sort quite a strong color but it's really really nice if you like these sort of tones and um, and then yeah just got this, these little sort of abstract kind they're kind of like spots but they're sort of irregular spots and um, but it's gorgeous it'd be lovely as like a like a long dress or yes yeah, sw um swooshy skirt and then the other one that we've got is sort of more geometric -y and it's got blue tones in it so it's this one here this one's called Layla Star more of a kind of geometric -y sort of pattern and then these lovely sort of orangey coral bits in the color and the pattern as well so another really beautiful one and then I'm sure you're gonna love these next two these are kind of they're quite abstract sort of like a take on an animal print but not really um, quite hard to describe but <laughs> hopefully you'll like them they've got lo lots of nice color tones in them they're really so it just comes in two colorways this is the kind of um warmer sort of you know more red richer color tone it's got that coral color in it that we're just seeing everywhere right now it's really popular for at this time of year and then it also comes in a more bluey way i think this one might be my favorite actually out of the two um, so it's like a kind of powder blue with a sort of mustard and black and grey. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, again, it's it's because it's viscose, it's got lots of lovely movement in it. This this one isn't really sheer, I would say. It's got quite a lot of weight to it, but still with the movement. So I don't I don't think you would need to line that one if you were making a dress or a skirt with it. Um, you could all these all these ones would be good for it. Like I've seen people make jumpsuits with them too. Um, if you fancy it for that kind of thing it's obviously just got you know viscose just has sort of more more kind of swish to it so it depends what sort of style of jumpsuit you're going for um and then before i get on to stretch fabrics there's just three linen ones that i wanted to show you which are kind of like two-tone linen so they're i guess in a way they're like chambray linens because one of the threads is white and then the other thread is a color like the way it's woven so it means that the colors have got quite a lot of depth to them so there's this sort of like natural creamy tanny one there's a red one and then there's also a lovely turquoise one as well and they are 100 percent linen but they're they're quite fluid they're quite sort of lightweight these would be good for like trousers dresses jumpsuits skirts loads of stuff anything that's good good for linen and um, they're really versatile fabrics which is nice so yeah we've got that in three different colors and then moving on to the stretch things i've got quite a few stretch things to show you as well and um, the first one i'm going to show you is another colorway of another fabric that we've had in before but it was really popular so we did have this in the kind of ready colorway sort of berry color which is this one um, and then now we've got it in the navy so it's just a single single knit jersey stretchy fabric so it's more like a kind of t-shirt weight like medium weight and it's got these little sort of gold accents on it and yeah just lovely nice florally sort of bloomy one um so yeah just nice for colorful little t-shirt or something and then we've got in that sort of same weight of fabric we've got these two new ones which have got that celestial theme so it's like star constellations so it comes in gray and it comes in blue as well so again it's a single knit it's lightweight it's better for t-shirts and that kind of thing um, but it's really pretty and it's got all the like little joined up dots to make the star constellations it's really nice so yeah that comes in navy and in the gray the only thing i'd say about the gray is that the little lines that connect the dots are just much lighter so it just kind of looks a bit more spotty it's only if you look up really close that you see the the little lines so yeah that's just a slight difference between the two they're both really nice and then getting into the sort of little more like thicker end of the scale um, uh, we've got these ones here which is I would say this is like a more like a summery sort of sweatshirting fabric so it's a loop back and so you can see on the back it's got all these tiny little loops here it's got quite a lot of sort of drape and movement to it 
So I think it'd be really nice as just like a little sweater to put on, you know, if it's like a cooler day or if it's in the evening, like the Megan Nielsen Jara, or the one that's got that little tie would be really cute. So yeah, it comes in three colours and it's got a fleck of, I would say it's like a really dark navy colour and then also gold as well. So it catches the light beautifully. It's really, really nice. Um, so we've got the pink, the cream and the green as well. Nice greeny colour. So yeah, that's good for like nice lightweight summer sweatshirts. And then this one here, I really like the print on this one. Um, it's like little sort of little sort of doodles or scribbles. It's got the fleecier bag, but it is a bit lighter weight. So if you've used our Cozy Colours fabric before, just as a comparison, because that one's so popular, I know a lot of people have had it, I would say it's a bit thinner than that. So although it does have the more cozy fleecy bag, it is still a bit more lightweight. So it comes in the blue, the pink, and then a lovely rust colour, which I've been finding hard to capture properly in videos but it's, it is really nice it comes up a bit more red in the videos um but yeah it's got a nice amount of stretch to it it's really soft um so yeah it's good for like sweaters and jumpers and that kind of thing too and then the last one that i've got it comes in four colors it is quite plain but i actually really really love this fabric so it's got a kind of ribbed texture on it that runs at 90 degrees to the selvage and I think it would just be nice as like a little cropped sweater. It's just really nice. It's cotton. It's pre pre pretty stretchy, not too much. Um, and it comes in the navy, a kind of raspberry, berry color, and a sort of powder blue as well. So again, like sweatshirts, the jumpers, that kind of thing would be really nice for. Like the cocoa top or cocoa dress would be good. It's often quite hard to get the right sort of weight for the cocoa, but I think it would be perfect for this. Or just like your classic jumpers and sweaters too, it'd be lovely. So if you're looking for something a bit more kind of plain and classic, then these are a good one to go, go for. So in the description of the video, I will link to the blog post that goes with this video and it's got links to all of the fabrics that I mentioned. But remember, just keep an eye on the just arrived section if you want to be like, totally up to date with what's coming in because we're getting new stuff all the time. So I think that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of those fabrics. If you've got any questions about them at all, please just leave them for me in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!